Welcome, welcome everybody to a new My Hero Academia video. Guys, I finally have the ultimate support card guide. Um, I've been promising, for, promising it for a while and here it is. Uh, it took so many hours of work and this is actually the fifth time that I'm trying to record this video because this is not an easy video to make whatsoever. So, um, let's jump straight into it because this there's a lot to talk about and this is going to be a long one, I can already tell. And uh, so, some ground rules real quick before we begin. I'm not going to tell you what each card does because uh, you can check that for yourself in the collection section of your game. You can, even if you don't have the card, you can check what they do. So, you know, just this is just uh, to save time, right? If I go through every single card and what they do, we're going to be, this is going to be a three hour video, right? So uh, I'm not going to tell you what each card does. I'm just going to tell you uh, why they're good or why they're bad and why they are in the tier that they are. And also with some of them, I will tell you which heroes they, they are good on. Okay, so... Um, Keep that in mind. Uh, another thing, another thing that I would like to tell you guys is, you already guys know that when I say an ultimate guide, I mean that there's going to be a Google Sheets document in in the description below that you can check out. I'm also going to post it on Discord as soon as the video goes live, and uh, you can check that out. Um, you know, like you can check the document, the guide. Um, it's going to. I'm going to show the the guide at the very end of the video. I'm going to show it, but um. It's basically going to have this tier list already done, finished, and uh, you know, in the in the hopes of making it as accessible as possible, Dan or YUYJ, you know that all the guides, um, you know, like uh, the the brain power of all of the guides comes from him. So um, if you if you browse over every single card, if you put your mouse mouse over over every single card, you will see a short comment from him telling you exactly what I'm going to tell you in this video, right? But uh, the idea is for the guide to be very accessible. I don't know if this is like if you understand what I'm trying to say, but again, I'm just going to show the guide at the end of the video. I don't want to show it right now because it's just going to spoil the tier list. Um, but we just try to make this as accessible for you guys as possible, okay? These are all six, uh, six stars, five stars, four stars, active and passive cards, excluding the exclusive cards, because you already know exclusive cards are very good and you should equip them on the heroes that they're for. So, um, so yeah, hopefully guys, this, this guide helps you. Uh, huge shout out and thank you, of course, to uh, Dan or YUYJ uh, for, you know, like <laughs> putting all the brain power into, into this guide. And uh, let's jump straight into it because this is going to be a very, very long one. So, uh, starting with Recovery Girl. Recovery, Recovery Girl is going to be a B tier. Um, she used to be better before they fixed Endeavor. She would have been maybe A tier, perhaps. Uh, but, you know, now that they fixed Endeavor, she's not really necessary for Endeavor. In fact, she's pretty detrimental if you, if you put her on Endeavor because she's going to heal you and, uh, you know, like you will lose the 50%, um, you know, damage increase that Endeavor gains from being below 50% health. So, um, so yeah, she's, 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 she's just a healer, honestly. Uh, there's not a lot to her. Um, so yeah, then we have Cold Shot. Cold Shot is actually the biggest source of crit damage in the entire game. So he's going to be amazing on any hero that you put him on. But I do recommend that you put him on very, very high DPS heroes, obviously, so that you can take advantage of the crit that it gives you, right? Uh, makes sense. Then we have Shigi. She is also going to be top tier. Um, she can proc off of your auto attacks or your uh, abilities, right? And um, so what you want to do is actually like she is going to give you a huge uh, penetration bonus, which basically means a huge uh, percentage attack increase, which is very, very good. Um, so what she will do is, you know, like or, or the, the heroes that you want to equip Shigi with are going to be heroes that actually um, have a high DPS, exactly the same as Kulsha, right? But especially with Shigi, um, because the way that Shigi works, she he can proc off of any tick of damage that you do. And what I mean by that is, I tested this with, or we tested this with Endeavor's Lance Form E, right? And if you pay attention when you're using your Lance Form E, you will see that there are many, many ticks of damage. You can see a bunch of numbers popping up uh, when when Endeavor is using that 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 ability. 
and that means that each one of those numbers that are popping up is is like an individual point of damage that Endeavor is doing, and that each one of those is an opportunity for Shigi to proc. So you will want characters that actually have those kinds of abilities, those kinds of attacks, right? Because that mean that will mean that uh, you have a higher chance to proc him. He can also proc multiple times, even though he's already active, he can proc again. He doesn't stack, but he will refresh the 10 seconds buff that he gives you. So definitely, definitely very good card. Uh, then we have Nomu. Nomu is also top tier, of course. Nomu is going to proc off of your auto attacks, so you definitely want to use him on characters that do auto attack, like Ida, for example, or Uraraka, you know, two characters that really like to auto attack. Uh, definitely don't use him on Todoroki or Bakugo, because those characters don't like to auto attack. The only time that you are auto attacking with Bakugo is when your abilities are on cooldown and you're just buying time, you know, for, for your abilities to come off of cooldown. So uh, definitely don't put this card on those heroes. But basically, he's going to be a great hero for anybody else. It'll give you um, a huge boost to your auto attack damage. It will give you hyper armor. Very, very, very good card. Uh, then we have Mastermind and Dance with the Wind. Those two are gonna go together. Uh, the, this special tier is basically reserved for those cards that are very niche, like these two, or cards that we haven't tested yet. So uh, just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, so these two are gonna work together in tandem. Uh, I think you should only equip them like together if you have both of them. So if you have only one of them, just wait until you pull the other one and then equip them together. And the reason why is because uh, these cards go with characters that like to uh, use their ultimates a lot, right? Basically, uh, Dance with the Wind will give you hyper armor after you use your ultimate. And then Mastermind is going to give you, is going to charge your ultimate even more, right? When, you, when you're attacking with hyper armor. So it's kind of like a loop, right? So uh, you use your ultimate and gain hyper armor from Dance with the Wind. So Mastermind gives you uh, more ultimate energy. So you can use your ultimate again. So you can have hyper armor again, blah, blah, blah. You get, you get the point, right? Uh, so you want to use both of them together on characters that like to use their ultimate a lot. One character that comes to mind who, whose ultimate is very, very good is uh, Uraraka. Uh, she usually gets her ultimate pretty easily and uh, you know it's a very good ultimate because it has a huge area of effect and Devers is very good too um, so so yeah and that's pretty much it for those two then we have uh, then we have mr. compress compress um, I'm not not sure how to pronounce his name honestly but uh he's going to be on s tier and uh, the reason why is going to be because uh, he grants an attack bonus and a defense shred when you perfect dodge for five seconds. Now, keep in mind that perfect dodge doesn't mean it's not the dodge when, when you counter attack, right? It's not the dodge that allows you to counter attack. It's a dodge that actually slows down the game, right? Like uh, when, when you dodge and the game slows down when you're dodging, that's a perfect dodge. Okay, so it's going to give you a, a five seconds um, attack bonus and defense defense shred, and um, it's going to be uh, you know it's going it's actually going to give you a huge huge damage in damage up, but it's going to be difficult to keep it up right because perfect dodges are not easy to perform obviously, um, but it's a very very good six star card. Um, then we have uh, the, this guy. What is his name? I never I can never remember his name. Kuro, Kurogiri. Yeah. Anyway, teleportation guy. That's what I call. <laughs> that's what I call him. So, uh, teleportation guy. Let me tell you, he's going to be good. Um, you know, he's he's the same as the one that we just saw, right? He's the same as Mr. Compress, but he's just a little bit worse, right? Um, if you if you really can't, if you have difficulty perfect dodging, then you shouldn't really use this card, right? Um, and and even if you can. You know, there are still better options. It's not the the best six star card. Um, if you don't know what he does, I'm gonna read some cards. I'm going to read because you know sometimes it's better to clarify why I'm saying the things that I'm saying. So uh, his special effect says: after the character performs perfect dodge, attack will be increased by 12% of unobtained a warp gate halo. In, in addition, nearby allies will be attack will be increased by 6% for five seconds. So this is more like a, a scoop sort of of card. You know, like. Definitely better options out there, um, but you know, obviously, if you don't have Mr. Compress and you have this guy, then use this guy, right? Uh, if you don't have any better options, but anyways. Uh, then we have Lemillion. Lemillion is going to go to special, and the reason why is because he is particularly good with Aizawa, but that's pretty much it, right? He's only good with Aizawa uh, if your technique bar resets, right? Um, 
So basically, I'm pretty sure that what he does is that he gives you a chance, let me read it, uh, when it uh, gives you 6% attack, and then when the special skill is in cooldown, increases special skill recovery by 24% when it's 60 second cooldown. Right? So it basically makes you gain your, uh, your skill bar, right? It makes it uh, fill up faster which is not that huge of a deal on most characters except for Aizawa, right? Because Aizawa's quirk is insane. It deals like three, four times the amount of damage that your ultimate does. So uh, this guy is very good, but only in Aizawa. So if you have him, equip it to Aizawa, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so yeah, anyways, moving on. We have Muscular, Muscular. We, we haven't had the chance to test him. Um, so he's just gonna go to special until we do test him guys remember that you know my guys are always being updated uh, It has happened a few times already that people come to me and they tell me you know like oh I saw your 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 video on the talent tree guide the ultimate talent tree guide and you know I I, I, I don't know I did my my Deku's um, Talent tree and now it turns out that the actual document changed well I'm really sorry, but for me to, you know, keep bringing you quality content, I need to be up updating my guides all the time. So just please keep in mind that guides are subject to change all the time, right? So to, today we might have Shigi on, on top tier and tomorrow he might be B tier. Not really, but maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. So Muscular, we haven't tr we haven't tested him yet, so he's just gonna go to special. He's the only card that we haven't tested, don't worry. These are all the special cards. Uh, there are no more specials. All of the other ones, we know exactly where to put them. <laughs> so uh, then we have Cellophane. Cellophane's actually a very, very good card. Uh, he's gonna go to S tier. Um, he's he's actually pretty good. Um, because let me tell you let me tell you why he's pretty good because he grants an attack buff for you and uh, for you and a, de uh, and a defense debuff on your enemies on, on enemies that you hit for five seconds after you activate your special so kind of similar to a card that we saw before right sort of similar to mr compress uh in the sense that it's an attack buff and a defense thread um for five seconds after you use your special your quirk right so this is going to be he's going to be good on certain characters that like to keep their specials up all the time right or, or a lot of the time which are going to be of course all might um tokoyami deku uraraka right so those are characters that like to keep their special up and also that their special is very um you know their special is used for burst right you activate those specials when you want to burst down your opponent um so so yeah not aizawa though because you do have to attack and aizawa only uses a squirk and you know uses it and then it's done and, and that's it right so he's not attacking with the squirk so you're not actually going to you know get the full advantage of those five seconds um you know of that five seconds buff right well as uraraka you press your special your quirk you're floating and now for five seconds you have an attack buff and a defense shred on whoever you're attacking so he's amazing amazing on uraraka like i said toroki deku all might etc uh, anyways moving on uh then we have moonfish moonfish is pretty meh honestly um he's going to be on a b tier two and um the reason why is going to be because pretty much he's just very, very limited in what he can do in his use. Let me read it real quick. It says, when an ally dies, the character enters blood desire mode. Attack increased by 18% and defense increases by 7.5% for 15 seconds. It's a huge buff. It is. But it's only good in, you know, the, the scoop, basically, or war zone, pretty much. So, you know, if you have a character that you use only on Warzone and Scoop, then, or, or, you know, you can equip this card or you can just equip it whenever you are about to go into Warzone or Scoop. So, but yeah, he's not good in any other mode, pretty much. So, um, so moving on, now we have uh, Koda. Koda is going to go to B tier 2. Oh, sorry, I put Moonfish on B. Uh, Koda, Koda is going to, I'm sorry, on A. I'm getting so mixed up. I'm so sorry. So Moonfish and Coda are going to go to B tier. Okay. And the reason why Coda is in B tier is, um, again, he's just a buff to your team. Um, so, you know, he's just good for scoop, uh, pretty much. So, you know, like cards that are only good in a specific mode are not going to be as good as cards that are good everywhere, like Shigi, Nomu or, or Cold Shot. So, you know, pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Um, then we have uh, the shield guy. Um, you know he's 
he's fine. He grants you HP and shield. Uh, he's going actually, as I'm so sorry, he's going to go to B. Um, same, he's pretty similar to Recovery Girl. He doesn't have a very niche, you know, a very good champion to go with at the moment. If we get a champion at some point, or a hero at I'm sorry, I keep calling them champions. If we get a hero at some point that benefits from healing maybe, or getting extra HP or stuff like that, or maybe they get more um, or extra attack from having a lot of HP or stuff like that, maybe then Recovery Girl and this guy, uh, he's called Nagamosa, Nogamosa, Mora, something like that. Uh, maybe they'll, they'll find a better spot, but for now they're just going to be tier. Um, so uh, then we have President Mike. President Mike is actually very, very good. Um, I really like this card. I have it on actually on quite a few heroes. He's gonna go to A tier. And the reason why he's gonna go to A tier is because, um, so when enemies have hyper armor, meaning when they have that yellow bar, uh, the card will amp your damage by a significant amount, right? But the damage bonus does go away as soon as you break them. So keep that in mind. So it's overall quite strong against bosses, obviously, because bosses have hyper armor. So it's going to be very good in, in PvE, mostly. Um, and we assume that it might work in PvP in some in some tenses, but we, we're not sure. It's kind of hard to test this particular this particular card. But um, basically, all you need to know that is that he's going to be good for PvE. So equip it for PvE because he's going to be very good. He's going to give you an attack buff when you are attacking uh, hyper armor enemies, which are basically pretty much every single boss ever. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if, if I sound a little, you know, staggery. Um, but like I said, the setup for this video is insane. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you someday. Um, then we have Combat Fist. Uh, Combat, Combat Fist is actually going to be S tier. She's very, very good. I really like this card too, and I have so many copies of her. <laughs> um, she's very, very good. She grants you an overall increase to your crit rate and your crit damage, right? And it stacks. It's 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 a, it's a stacking card. So really, really good. Basically, what she does is she gives you crit damage and crit chance uh, for a while until you crit, and then when you crit, uh, her stacks reset. Right, and then he continuously gives you more crit and more uh, chance and more crit damage until you crit again. And you get the point, right? Uh, she's very good, very very good for a five star. Um, so moving on, then we have this girl Sui. I think she's called Sui Su, something like that. Oh no, Utsushimi. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> anyway, she's gonna go to B tier. Um, the reason why she's on B tier is because. Um, she's she's very good defensively. She's one of the best defensive cards for sure. Um, but all of the defensive cards, if you if you've noticed, all of the defensive cards are in B tier because defense is not really that that great in this game. Um, you know because you can dodge, right? So just don't get hit. <laughs> you know so defense isn't really there. Attack is just miles miles more useful. Okay, so that's pretty much why all of the defensive cards you're going to see them in B tier. It's just you can dodge in this game. So, you know, you can dodge, you can move around, you can you can try to avoid. You know, all of the bosses have pretty um, uh, telegraphed moves, so you can you can predict them pretty easily. So, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why all defensive cards are going to be in B tier. Um, so, uh, yeah, let, let's just move on. Then we have Mustard. Uh, Mustard is actually going to be, uh, he's actually going to be, I'm, I'm lost. He's actually going to be S tier. Yeah, he's S tier. Okay. Uh, and the reason why is because he grants you a stacking skill damage bonus. Skill damage bonus means basically abilities, right? So, uh, very good on Bakugo for him, for example. Um, so any, any hero that likes to spam their abilities like Bakugo or Todoroki, Tokoyami or Denki, right? Those, those heroes that don't auto attack like I was telling you before when I, we were talking about Nomu, right? Any hero that doesn't like to auto attack as much, but they prefer to spam their abilities, like especially Bakugo, right? Because, you know, Bakugo, his main DPS comes from his Q. Um, you know, he's, uh, they're going to be good with Mustard. So, uh, so yeah, moving on. Then we have Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is going to be S tier 2. Um, he's a very fantastic card. Um, it's kind of like Nomu, sort of, in a sense. Um, let me read you what he does. Basically, 
He says, in combat, when the character enters sneak mode, damage caused by normal attack is increased by 6%. Normal, attack have a ch normal attacks have a chance to trigger clone. And when clone is triggered, the character's attack is increased by 33.5% for 10 seconds. That is a huge buff. Huge buff. Not as much as Nomu. Nomu also gives you hyper armor, but it's still a very, very big buff. Uh, it's it's chance based, right? So um, again, and it's normal attacks only. So uh, keep in mind, right, that you want to use it on on, on heroes that actually like to auto attack a lot, like Ida or Uraraka, not Bakugo or Todoroki, right? Keep that keep that uh, little detail in mind. Um, so yeah, moving on. Uh, then we have Joji, 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 Yoji. We have Yoji. Um, <laughs> Uh, Yoji is going to be uh, a, a tier, and the reason why is pretty much because he gives you normal auto attack damage, and uh, that's pretty much it. He gives you auto attack damage. Same thing as Ectoplasm and Nomu, using on on heroes that like to auto attack. Uh, moving on, we have Mei. Uh, I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna skip the four stars, guys. You can you can see their descriptions in the in the document in the guide. Uh, I'm just gonna give you the, their tiers. So Mei is going to be A, uh, then let me put Tiger on A2, and then I think this is Pixiebop, pretty sure. Uh, might be wrong though. Uh, then we have Midnight over here. Midnight is going to be actually B tier. She's good on Kirishima. Um, if you want to use her on Kirishima, she's good there. Uh, then we have this other one, I forgot her name. Um, uh, yeah, Strong Arms is, actually, is also going to be on B tier. And... Uh, pretty much all of the others too. We have Innsmouth, uh, Cold Metal, Backdraft. Um, Ragdoll is actually going to be a lot higher. Ragdoll is actually going to be on S tier. She's very good because she gives you crit. Um, so definitely, definitely, um, uh, Ragdoll is actually the best four star by a mile and a half. So uh, definitely put it on heroes that you want more DPS on. So yeah, that actually thins our list quite a bit. That's quite a relief. Um, there's going to be comments and descriptions for every single four star in the document, guys, if you want to check that out, but I don't want to make this video that long. And I already know that this is super long already. So anyways, uh, moving on. Then we have Snipe. And um, so now we are, we're going through uh, some of the active cards, right? So Snipe is going to be A, A tier. Uh, and the reason why, is uh, snipe is actually one of the um, one of the strongest single target uh, cards, act active cards. Um, it it's very good, honestly. There's not much to say. You can see in your collection what he does, uh, but he's just very. Uh, he's just a lot of damage, pretty much. That's that's pretty much what all of the active cards are. Um, so then we have Principal Nezu. Uh, he's also going to be on A tier. And uh, it's AOE. If you have many of this one and you equip them all and then you go to scoop, it's insane. Dude, it's crazy. Like, if you can spam this in, like, this particular card in, card in scoop, I don't know how you're not, like, like, top five in your server, honestly. Like, this card is insane. I only have one of them. Um, so, yeah. It says here that the second half of his of his damage of his effect uh, apparently hits everything no matter what. So maybe it's bugged, maybe it's not. Who knows? Honestly, that card is insane. I hate it. I hate whenever I see it on scoop because it just shreds through teams, especially if you had it breakthrough or uh, upgraded and stuff. Like it's crazy, man. It's freaking crazy. Um, but yeah. Anyways, then we have All Might. Uh, All Might is going to go to um, double S. He's going to be top tier. It's an extremely uh, strong AOE damage that also groups enemies. Because if you don't know, this is just All Might's Tornado. It's a free All Might Tornado. I absolutely hate and despise All Might, and I hate and despise his Tornado even more. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's, it's the highest damage in card, I think, and uh, it's freaking crazy. Uh, there's not much to say other than other than that. Uh, then we have, let's see, we have Ass Lady. Ass Lady is actually gonna go to S tier. Um, Ass Lady, let me tell you, oh, S tier, yep. Uh, Ass Lady is actually um, a very strong single target. Um, 
very strong single target uh, uh, card, active card, pretty much. Um, you're just gonna, um, yeah, you're just gonna crush them with those, with those cheeks. Um, moving on, we have Mina. Mina is also very, very good. Uh, she's she's gonna be S tier right next to Ass Lady, and uh, Mina is one of the strongest burst cards alongside Endeavor. And uh, she grants a damage increase for several seconds. And basically, you want to use her use her when you're trying to burst down an enemy. Uh, pretty straightforward. Then we have uh, Tree Guide. Tree Guide is gonna be. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna be the uh, top tier. Uh, a he's a large AOE and does a ton of damage. It's pretty much the same as All Might, just a little bit weaker than All Might, but still very very good. Um, so top tier for sure. Then we're going to have Endeavor. Endeavor is also going to be top tier. Endeavor is so strong. Endeavor's card, if you have pulled him, you are so, so lucky. Uh, he does a decent amount of damage by itself and also grants you 100% crit for 4 seconds, which is stupid, just stupid. You, you should use it on heroes to, uh, with clear burst windows like Ida, Deku, Toloroki, Tokoyami, and All Might, right? Keep in mind that it lowers your crit damage considerably before max breakthrough, so avoid using on heroes that naturally have less than 50% crit. Okay, so very, very, very good on heroes that burst down the enemy. Um, and finally, we have Gran Torino. Unfortunately, Gran Torino is... I think he's the worst 6-star card, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna be B tier. Um, the reason why is basically... Um, it's just an awful card, honestly. Maybe, 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 maybe he's good on Alliance Drill, but uh, pretty bad. It's a pretty bad card. It's it's the worst six star, actually. Um, so, so yeah, he's gonna be the worst uh, six star, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for the tier list. Um, I don't know if you guys agree. Please leave a comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, I'm sorry if I if my commentary wasn't the best. This is just a lot of information to juggle, a lot of things to be looking at and paying attention to. So this is a very difficult video to make. Uh, let me just cut real quick and I'll show you the uh, the doc. All right, guys. So this is uh, the doc, um, the document. As you can see, what I was telling you before, you can uh, basically put your mouse over every single card and you will have a uh, dance uh, description of each card it's basically the same thing that i've been saying during the video but you can check this you know without having to uh watch the video or listen to me you know <laughs> staggering um but yeah we try to make it as accessible as possible you won't see what each card does only a description of each one so uh because obviously just putting the description like what each card does here it would be way 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 too much uh, like I said many times already, we try to make this as accessible for everyone as possible, as easy to understand as possible. Um, some four, four stars don't really have a description because they're not worth it, honestly. Only the best ones have uh, some sort of description. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the document. Uh, it's going to be in the description below. I'm also going to post it on tips and tricks in the official Discord if you want to check it out there. Uh, please keep in mind that I'm going to be updating it every now and then with new information as soon as we you know get more people to uh, test some of these cards or we get opinion from people that you know also know a lot of, about the game and uh, yeah that's gonna be the video for now guys uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed if you find it useful um, leave a comment what do you think do you agree with this tier list uh, do you disagree would you change something uh, what has been your experience have you tested the, the four special cards down here especially muscular have you tested it? Um, what do you think? And subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. And guys, I will see you on the next one.